Good afternoon, folks. Today is um, Tuesday. Yes, today is Tuesday. It is the 7th of March, 2021. It rained all day here in the Twin Cities and all last night, so my front yard smells like a lake. <laughs> but um, anyway, as soon as the sun comes out tomorrow and the day after, everything will be budded. Right now, there's no buds. Just, you know, a few little kind of buds, but not really buds. But that's not why I'm, I'm on this video today. This video, as you can see, is in front of my house. Your home, for the most part, is the biggest investment you make. And it's not an investment in the sense of uh, put money in, get money out. It's an investment in your future. Because very, very seldom do people buy a home with the express purpose of making money. So, with that said, I'm not calling an investment from that perspective. I'm calling an investment from the standpoint of um, uh, how much money it takes to get involved in it, right? So, let me, let me just talk about our home, okay? And not just my home, but the homes down the street, the home across the street, you know, just homes, right? Most of us, that's the biggest investment we have. That's the biggest ticket. That's the biggest item that we have. If you got a, say, $350,000 home, and you got a $350,000 credit card, you probably got some habits that we'll discuss on some other video. But that said, let's look at that property. Let's say you've got a, since we use that number, let's say you have a $350,000 home. And you got that mortgage at whatever interest. It doesn't matter what the interest rate is. I'm, that's not what this is about. But, and if you stick to the end of this video, you'll, you'll hear me show you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, no trickery, just math. I'm going to show you how to take your mortgage, get rid of it, and pay off your house in between three and seven years. So stick with me. Typically, when you get a house, you have a realtor that shows you a home, you like it, you say, I want to get it. So your emotions are involved. That's cool. No problem. You're not an investor. You're buying a home, place to live, raise your children, right? Or just a place to live. So you buy this home. They, the mortgage company gives you an interest rate. And then you uh, sign the promissory note. You give them whatever down payment, if any. And then you sign a mortgage. And that mortgage is for 15, 20, 30 years, right? fixed or you know variable whatever I'm not a mortgage guy so let me start with that I'm not a financial advisor and I'm just telling you what I know and 90% of the information I'm about to give you right now came from an associate of mine see being online and doing business with people all over the world and all around the country you form alliances and friendships and associations with people who give you information I was given this information and I'm sharing it with you you do what you choose to now, you get your mortgage. Let's say it's 30 years. You're paying $2,000 a month. Your house is $350,000. The moment you sign that mortgage, it starts calculating interest, amortized over a 30-year mortgage or a 20-year or 15-year mortgage time frame. If it's a fixed, that interest rate is fixed for 30 years. All right. So we're just going to talk about a 30-year fixed mortgage. Now, you make your $2,000 a month payment. For the first five to seven, sometimes 10 to 12 years, you're not even making a dent on that mortgage. You're just paying interest, basically, right? Now, some people will tell you, well, if you make an additional payment, that's taking money out of your pocket that you didn't have in the first place. So now you're trying to come up with a way to do some more money? No, no. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. If you just stick with me to the end, I'm going to show you how to do all of that I just said without changing any of your spending habits, without adding any more money to your life, without doing anything other than what you're already doing. Okay, stick with me. So, 
that 30 year mortgage, you already know how it works. If you bought a home or, or you bought one before, you know how it works. And statistically proven, between five and seven years, people either refi or they buy again. Right? So, what does that mean? That means that means that means that you spent let's say seven years in a home that you really didn't even pay anything on you just gave the bank a bunch of interest right so but let's say you bought the house two years ago right you paid down two years of mortgage but you really didn't pay down much but the cost of your home went up in value so your three hundred fifty thousand dollar home now is worth let's say 450. So that means you got a hundred grand in equity. What people typically do is refinance, get that hundred grand out and use it for whatever they want to use. But they basically, what they did was start over. So what they did before is gone, right? It's gone. They started with another 30 year mortgage and the banks are happy because they're going to get another 30 years worth of interest out of you. So the $350,000 house is now worth 450 you're going to end up paying, if you keep it 30 years, you're going to end up paying over $500,000 for a $350,000 house. I'm just talking numbers, guys. Just basic mathematics. Nothing special, just basic mathematics. Now, let's move forward. That same process that you go through every time you buy a new home, or the first time you bought a home, think about what happened. You're paying on that. Check your numbers. Check your your mortgage payment how much you're paying every month and how much is still left on that mortgage after two three four five seven eight ten fifteen years and then when you calculate it out how much more house you're paying for and keeping the same amount of house that you're living in it's criminal but we do it every day and government has made it legal it's just simple all right now what's an alternative how do you take that same mortgage and turn it into five to seven years paid off? How do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. What you want to do is you want to go to how to pay off your mortgage now.com. It's going to be three videos and an ebook. The three videos will take a total of about 20 minutes of your life. And if you can take 20 minutes to watch some videos and about 10 minutes to watch, to read an ebook, and about two minutes to use that calculator to show where you are and where you'll be if you do this program, it'll save you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of your mortgage. So imagine, you're going to end up moving statistically in five to seven years anyway. So imagine in seven years, your house is paid off and it's raised in value. And you didn't do anything to change what you're doing. So in other words, your payments that you make, let's, okay, let me give you another example. Let's say you make five grand a month. And out of that five grand a month, you spend four grand a month in bills. Or say you make five grand a month and out of those bills except for your mortgage you pay three grand in bills and two grand in mortgage which eats up your whole five grand a month sound familiar okay now you're putting that money that you make into your Wells Fargo US Bank whatever bank account Bank of America whatever what if the program I'm telling you about allowed you to open an account if you will that absorbed your mortgage, got rid of your mortgage, and all of that mortgage went into another special kind of account that you'll find on that link, howtopayoffyourmortgagenow.com. And let's say in that, you know, they do an assessment of your property. Let's say instead of 350,000, what you paid for is now worth 400,000. They put, and say you owe 320,000 on that house right now. They take that 320, they put it into that special program, and then every time you make money, you put it into that account. 
and some of those accounts which are open-ended some of those accounts allow you to have a checking book checkbook or a debit card or both all right now your credit is going to need to be okay but you need that for refinance anyway but it's okay meaning 680 690 if it's less than that don't worry about that I'll get that fixed for you too that's easy but I don't like fixing people credit just so they can get a credit card and, or buy a car that's a waste of my time my partner's time and resources to be quite honest but if you're going to do something that's going to benefit your life really benefit your life I'm down for helping you with that now moving forward you put all of your income into this account some of you guys got if you if you're watching this in 2021 late early 2021 or even you know yeah whenever you probably got a couple of um, um, uh, what do they call them because I didn't get any um, those checks from the government right 1400 bucks something like that and they'll probably do another round well let's say you got you know 2800 bucks you and a kid or three kids right four or five thousand dollars why put that in your bank account only to take it and pull it out and pay bills when you could put it into this account pay down your mortgage because the moment you put that money in that account the interest that's calculated on that money goes down it moves based on how much is in there unlike a mortgage no matter what you put into it your interest rate is the same and your monthly payment is the same right so you're making your monthly payment as usual you're making your paying your monthly bills as usual but typically you pay those bills at different times and typically you pay your mortgage at a certain time so let's say you put five grand into your into this account that five grand grand goes against the 320 so now it's 315 and the interest is calculated on 315 as opposed to 320 that makes the interest go down you pay out the five it goes back to that but in the time you did that that account interest was calculating it's it's kind of confusing at first to think about it but again when you get done doing what you already do not making one extra nickel not changing how you spend that money right and doing your business the way you always have instead of 30 years that mortgage is paid off in say three five seven seven and a half years that's worth it that's worth it it's worth looking into so again go to how to pay off your mortgage now .com. if you got questions reach out to me and we'll discuss it but go to how to pay off your mortgage now .com. almost school time school bus is riding by all right and realtors let me give you an example another thing realtors what if you could go back into all of your past sales contact those people who have those mortgages and show them how they can do the same you think you'll get some more repeat customers especially when they're paying off their mortgage in three to five years as opposed to 30 yeah because they're gonna love you for that and guess who they're gonna call and guess who they're gonna refer no matter who they talking to yeah yeah <laughs> how to pay off your mortgage now .com. and if you're a realtor right a real estate professional right then you want to go to so you can show I can show you how to do this for your clients go to your ultimate side hustle .com. that's all I got guys I fire up my cigar again went out on me and um, I'll talk to you soon and as always in parting peace